My new sundial says, I am silent without the sun. So here's what's happening. Um, that sundial is going to get placed on that um, paver that I've set <coughs> level here in the front yard. And what I'm doing here today is establishing the position using GPS, actually GNSS, because uh, we're tracking. Let's see if I can get a better view of this. That looks pretty good. So there's, uh, it's not in focus. That's better. So we're tracking um, US GPS, which is the blue ones that are, have the G on them. And uh, there's a good handful of Russian GLONASS satellites as well. Those have the R. And I'm thinking, I think that is an, I think I'd have to flip pages. I believe there's a uh, Galileo satellite as well. So anyway, what's happening is I'll uh, take the raw data that I'm collecting here. And I've also got another receiver, a GPS receiver operating across the street there. And I will take the raw data file from that receiver and this receiver, put it in my post-processing software, and it will compute the vector. And that is the delta X, delta Y, delta Z, Earth-centered Earth fixed coordinates. That's the 3D vector that then is uh, converted to latitude and longitude and ellipsoid height. And from there you can project that to a mapping projection like uh, state plane coordinates. But anyway, the result will be that I'll have an azimuth here. Um, it'll be a geodetic azimuth that I can evaluate whether or not I need to convert that to an astronomic azimuth. Once I have that information, I'll be able to <clears throat> occupy this point with my theodolite. I will be able to sight that point and then calculate the angle needed to turn to a zero, which would be the meridian, the north-south line, which is going to be approximately in this direction. And then what I'll do is set a uh, reference point there and I'll flop the scope and set a reference point somewhere over here. Then I can uh, move the theodolite out of the way. Actually, I'll set the theodolite on that mark, sight that mark, make sure it's online with this. And then I can take the sundial and place it in that position and rotate, the, uh, rotate that sundial so that uh, it's oriented in the meridian north and south. So I've already recorded this. I did it as a live stream, but it was really choppy and uh, pixelated in a lot of ways. And I think some of the details got left out. So uh, I went ahead and tried recording a quick video to just say the same thing almost, I think. All right, uh, signing off. And uh, next video, I guess, will be... Uh, some of the work being done with the theodolite. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.